His former roommate says she found a camera in her bathroom and bedroom. Now an Orange County firefighter is facing video voyeurism and eavesdropping charges. Investigators say the firefighter recorded at least one woman without her knowledge. News 6's Clay Lapard joins us now live outside the Seminole County Jail. And Clay, these are some serious allegations. What did the man have to say? Ginger, not a word. Stephen Brandon Berger's attorney did all the talking today as they deal with charges including video voyeurism and eavesdropping. I know what the rules are to judge when they sign an arrest warrant. 38-year-old Stephen Brandenberger, an Orange County firefighter, is behind bars accused of planting video cameras in his home to spy on his tenant. The Warren details how a woman rented out a room in Brandenberger's home near Oviedo since 2013. But earlier this month, a friend of the victim's noticed a camera hidden behind an air vent in the bathroom. That's when the victim became suspicious and found another camera hidden in her bedroom, facing her bed. On Friday, detectives searched Brandenburger's home and noticed all the hard drives had been removed from the setup he had in what deputies describe as a hacker's closet. But deputies did find a mini CD showing Brandenburger having sex with a woman in his bedroom who doesn't appear to be aware of the camera. And the video shows the woman falling asleep afterwards and Brandenburger getting up to turn off the video camera. Brandenburger had worked as a firefighter in Orange County since 2006, but deputies say he had also installed home movie theaters as a side gig. Orange County Fire Rescue released the following statement, saying he has been relieved of his duties pending an administrative hearing, adding, the charges brought forth against Brandenburger are in direct contrast to the core mission and values of the Orange County Fire Rescue Department. I worked for Orange County uh, Fire Department for over 14 years, whole families in law enforcement. So uh, obviously, um, you know, it, I think we should extend him the benefit of the doubt until uh, we see exactly what the state's uh, evidence is in this case. Brandenburger's bond has been set at $10,000. Once he is released, he will have to wear a GPS monitor and won't be allowed to possess any device that can go on the Internet. Outside the Seminole County Jail, Clay Lepard getting results, News 6.